Hi guys, Danny here from the Magic Junk Drawer, and we are up to the Seven of Diamonds person, the card of spiritual values. So you are a Seven of Diamonds person if you were born on these dates. January 20th, February 18th, March 16th, April 14th, May 12th, June 10th, July 8th, August 6th, September 4th, and October 2nd. Your karma cards. Oh my goodness, you have a lot of karma cards. Now that's not fair. Oh, well you don't have any karma cousins, so maybe that's a good thing. I don't know how I feel about this stuff. <laughs> All right. Your karma cards. The nine of hearts, the ace of clubs, the two of hearts, the jack of hearts, the eight of clubs, the king of spades. You have no karma cousins and your past life cards are the six of diamonds and the eight of diamonds. Okay, here we go. The card of spiritual values. The seven of diamonds is one of the most unique cards because it is a semi-fixed card. As part of a special family of seven, uniquely different from these people fall into a different category and have a special mark on their lives. They're very stubborn, but they can also be extremely creative. And some are destined to become millionaires in this life by accessing the higher side of the spiritual money card. By suit, they're always connected to money. As a spiritual number, they must maintain a non-attached attitude about money or they will experience continual problems in this area. They're either worrying about it all the time or not worried at all and having as much as they like. Regardless, many of their life lessons will come through this avenue. The other avenue is their close relationships. Family, lovers, and friends are all very important to the Seven of Diamonds person. They have close ties, for better or for worse, with their family, and they share in their trials. They have a high spiritual love nature. They often, that often entails making personal sacrifices for their family and other close relationships. There is little they wouldn't do on behalf of their parents or their family. This is one of the most spiritual cards in the deck, and it is such that their success comes from approaching life in ways other than traditional or materialistic. The most successful among them are the ones who live in the faith that all of their needs will always be provided. They are usually restless, making frequent changes in either occupation or location. Their love life usually entails sacrifice and disappointment until they learn to let others go and to let others be as they are. In their spiritual studies, they find inner satisfaction and validation in their own intuition. One once on the spiritual path, everything in their life is put in the proper perspective and they can excel in any chosen field. Some of the Seven of Hearts issues concerning relationships. For such a spiritual card as the Seven of Diamonds, issues in relationships revolve around letting go of personal attachments and developing a more spiritual approach to love. They are by nature very loving people and are willing to make sacrifices on behalf of those they love. They are bound to have one or more karmic love involvements that challenge them to raise their level of love to a more spiritual and responsible heights. Like other cards, they have high ideals associated with love and partnerships, but these people are more or less destined to have the ideals tested every step along the way. I mean, nothing can be easy. You can't have anything easy. <laughs> their stubbornness and independence attracts power powerful relationships into their lives and ones that can teach them important lessons. Can we ever just not have a lesson and have a good time? <laughs> Gotta get so upset. General Generalities between the personality card connections. The female seven of hearts are attracted to and often marry men of the heart suit. They also hold some fantasies about diamond men. The male seven of diamonds is attracted to spade females and usually has many club females as friends and associates. Club males challenge the seven of hearts, uh, the seven of diamonds female. Okay. Now, let's go over your spread. Your moon is the seven of hearts. Mercury is the five of spades. Venus is the jack of hearts. Mars is the nine of clubs. Jupiter, the nine of spades. Saturn is the two of hearts. Uranus, the king of hearts. Neptune, the king of diamonds. Pluto, the six of hearts. Your karmic result or your reward is the Four of Clubs, and your karmic lesson is the Two of Diamonds. Okay, you are a Seven of Diamonds-like. 
Kevin Bacon, Sybil Shepherd, Julie Christie, Molly Ringwald, Sarah Michelle Geller, Pete Rose, George Carlin, Jerry Lewis, Loretta Lynn, and James Bay, because I know his birthday is September 4th, and you know I love him. Okay, now let's go back to your karmic result, or your reward is the Four of Clubs. All right, you guys, you Seven of Diamonds, let me know if you've been involved or if you have a Four of Clubs in your life. Four of Clubs people are born on April 30th, May 28th, June 26th, July 24th, August 22nd, September 20th, October 18th, November 16th, and December 14th. Now, your karmic lesson is the Two of Diamonds. So you let me know if you've had any Two of Diamonds in your lives. Two of Diamonds. Oh, you got a lot here. January 25th, February 23rd, March 21st, April 19th, May 17th, June, June 15th, July 13th, August 11th, September 9th, October 7th, November 5th, and December 3rd. All right, guys, you let me know what you think. And if you like what we're doing here at the Magic Junk Drawer, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.